Welcome back to another trucking vlog guys. Today is the freaking day. Um, today is really the day that you finally get to see the new truck that riding it with Jay is going to be rocking. Um, we uh, are going to stop here up at the fuel islands and run into the loves real quick. Yeah. I also, I need to wipe off my windshield because look how dirty that is. I know I only got like barely any hours left like three hours left for this blue truck plus like two hours to like switch everything out and then hopefully we can get a load but i just need to wipe this windshield off dude it's so freaking dirty so it's kind of i'm kind of sad though today because this is like my last day with big old blue here blues clues blues clues <laughs> We just got a letter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're gonna clean off our windshield real quick. And then we are going to drive to Florida and get the red truck, I guess, man. Like, it's crazy, but that's what's the, wait, please tell me that, okay, yeah. I guess we'll uh, clean off the windshield with you guys here. I need to run inside and twinkle, twinkle little star real quick, but. I'm gonna grab my gloves. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my gloves. I thought about that after I freaking touched the thing, dude. So weird. This one sucks. That one's better, but that water's so dirty, bro. Today is my Saturday, but today is your guys' Sunday. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I mean, your day will pretty much be over when this comes out, but. The issue is today but trucker path thinks i'm in wisconsin dude i haven't been in wisconsin for like two weeks makes no sense all right here we go today is the last day we got i think it's like 220 miles and then we uh 
we will be at our new truck. Looks like that's too much dog for that lady. Started pulling him, pulling her. Truck's exit here, here we go. We should update once we get on the interstate, I think. That's kind of cool, the RV stop. Wait, is that like actual like RV like parking and like, wow. That's the first time I've ever seen that. But if I was in an RV, I would just park in over here because, <laughs> I mean, heck, you're gonna, yeah, we got 210 miles, I finally updated, but I'd just park with the semis because I'm sure they charge over there. But you might have all your hookups, like electrical, all that stuff. No semis. I almost got Bojangles for breakfast today, but I'm not I'm not that hungry, so and Bojangles is mediocre, so I felt like what I had last night was good enough and hopefully I can come across a TA today that has a Popeyes, you know, celebrate the new truck. I'm hoping it has a like barely any miles. I don't know like anything about this semi guys. All I know is it's red. So it could literally be <laughs> we came pretty, like not close, but we were, we we're close to that yield sign, closer than I wanted to be. I mean, there's still like six feet, but I was just like, oh, geez, kind of scared me. But we'll see you guys here in a little bit. I hope you guys are excited as I am. We're about to take our exit here. Oh boy, it's been a while. It's been like a week or whatever, you know, like it just, I hope you guys are excited. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, we got 1.9 miles left till we make it here, but the exit's in 1.2, so we're just gonna sit here and hang out. Man, it's been a while. I'm about to sneeze. Oh. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh. But yeah, hope you guys are excited. I'm really excited. We're about almost there, dude. Like Today's went by fast already. It's gonna take me a while to like switch everything over. Um, from my truck to the new one. Um, I'm just hoping it like has like under 200,000 miles on it. Cause like if it's above 200,000 miles, like, you know, in another year I'll have to get a different truck and move all this crap out again, dude. Like it's a lot. So here's our exit. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited guys. Oh, I don't know if you guys thought I was saying like we're about to get to the truck, but we're not. We're about to pull into this uh, TA for some Popeye's chicken. <laughs> uh, did I get you? Let me know in the comments if I got you guys. Oh, there's a Popeye's. It says there's, yeah, there's a Popeye's. Good. Out of my head, out of my mind, I was in the wrong time, but one of a kind, maybe in the world of classic. Oh, it's a roundabout. It's not even a right or left hand turn. Dang. Yeah, I hate Flying J's because all they ever have is Denny's, bro. Denny's is garbage. Denny's is literally garbage. Denny's is probably the worst truck stop restaurant out there. Yeah, they had to make this thing wide for semis. Another roundabout, bro? Gosh. Dude, I feel like Popeyes is probably one of the best selling truck stop restaurants. Like, I feel like they sell the most out of all of them. The most food. Or at least I know that's where I spend all my money. <laughs> parking spot here at the Popeyes. Just taking an easy one. Looks like there's a pull through right there. It's got our name all over it. I guess we'll go to this middle one. Oh my God, look at that guy hanging off the side of that semi, bro. Oh, these are reserved. 
I didn't know that. Whoops. Um, yeah, I was just parking the back row. I didn't know these were reserved. I mean, nobody's probably gonna mess with us. Why is that guy parked there, bro? Okay, I'm gonna do this, because I know I can make that turn, but I'd just rather be safe than sorry. So we're gonna cut a big U-turn here. Oh my gosh, dude. It says no parking zone and like I just parked right there. I mean, it was probably last night and there's like no spots left. You know, something like that. this concrete barrier right here it's almost a straight I just need to make sure I clear it and then I can start cutting it back some Popeyes and I uh, got me a five-piece basket of chicken strips right with fries and it was like $15 right and she's like what kind of dipping sauce and I was like barbecue I always get the three I get barbecue honey mustard and black and ranch right and she's like you're only allowed to get two sauces I'm like this is the most damn expensive Popeyes I've ever been to like most places I can order DoorDash a five-piece tender basket for $13 on DoorDash. I was like, I'll pay for another sauce. I don't care, but I want it. And she's like, well, aren't you just difficult? And I'm like, bro, I literally ordered a five piece chicken strip. How do you expect me to only use two sauces? And then she like gave me a lip when she's like, any ketchup honey? Or I was like, yeah, ketchup honey and Cajun sparkle. And she's like, geez. I'm like, what is your deal woman? literally paid almost $16 for a five chicken strip basket a biscuit fries and a drink like that is outrageous like that <laughs> uh, I can't believe I pay that much sometimes it's just insane it happens like I mean I've had other Popeyes that are that expensive but most of the time like it's $11 for a five strip basket which is a lot better oh my gosh I don't know if I'm even supposed to drive over these things but I'm doing it Trailer tires definitely taking that one out. So we got 110 miles left. And we'll be done for the day. Or not for the day. But it is going to be a while because by the time we switch everything over, it is going to be a couple hours. So. Gosh, dude, I hate roundabouts so much. It's insane. But I love being empty. This thing just accelerates so fast. It's not even that fast, but it sure feels like it. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we got an hour and 45 minutes till we get to see our new red truck, and I'm really excited. I'll see you guys then. So we're uh, pulling up on this place. Um, I'm not really sure how it's gonna work. Um, it's not gonna be very fun to get in here because we're gonna have to hang a left. 
Uh, but I'm excited to get our new truck. I wish Tim would have let me drop this trailer somewhere. Would have been a lot easier to get around. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I think we need to cut it up. Oh, where, where do we turn in at? So this is the trailer repair right here. I think it's, yeah, it's here. get into the gate here yep and then it's supposed to be in this first over there somewhere see all those CFIs oh, we gotta push the call box out But, um, we got to go through here and we got to figure out where we're going to put this trailer. Um, we'll turn in here, I guess. Hopefully we can find parking over here so we can drop this trailer. Oh boy, which one is it? I think we'll drop it here as long as there's no vehicles in between these. There's almost enough room here for a straight back, but. <sighs> All right, we cut it just a little bit too hard there. So left. Straight. One turn left here. Oh, we gave plenty of room over there. This is not what I wanted though. I did not want it to be muddy like this because now my shoes are gonna get all freaking dirty, dude. And what that means is, um, what that means is that uh, I'm gonna get that new truck all muddy by the time I get everything in it. Why am I struggling so bad with this, dude? This is gonna suck, dude. By the time we get everything, that truck is gonna be so dirty. All right, let's drop this. All right, guys, we went and got our new truck and we parked it right next to Old Blue so you guys could get a good look at her.
Here's the reveal, boys. Brand new 2023. It's got like 2,200 miles on it. Brand spanking new. And it's, it's so weird, dude. I sat in the seat to bring it over here, right? And uh, like the seat goes all the way down. But then when you sit down in the seat, dude, it airs up based on your weight. So like, this is the proper height. But dude, this thing's so clean. Like, that one, the radio would like freeze and like do all this random stuff. And I don't know like how well it's gonna run and stuff. But then I got like this like desk I can work on my videos on. Um, it's, it's brand new, man. Like there's like nothing on this truck. Like I think someone, yeah, someone definitely did have this truck for a little bit, but I mean, they dipped out like they didn't even use the fridge, bro. The fridge is still like brand new. I guess there's stuff in there though. So maybe they did use the fridge like crumbs in there. But yeah guys this is this is the brand new truck we we have a lot to do we got we got to move everything over they're still face masks in my truck dude that's kind of disgusting i think some chick was driving this dude that is a small face mask or maybe a like parent and a kid yeah no paperwork in oh do i not have my permit there we go permit book cool um so I'm guessing all of this is good. Probably don't know. If, I don't know if I can show you guys that or not. But yeah, guys, this is the new truck, okay? This thing is very nice and very cool to have. Um, we're gonna have to use this mattress here, um, but we gotta move everything over. We gotta move our TV over. We Like, dude, it's so much work, but... Oh, there's a top bunk bed, dude. Let's see, how comfortable is this mattress? Cause it's, bro, this mattress is doo-doo. I'd almost rather bring my mattress over from the other truck. Like I got a foam topper, but. I don't know, man. I might throw, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. Especially like when I have my foam topper on it, I'm sure it won't be bad. But it's just gonna be a pain, dude. And I didn't really want that top bunk in here. Because now like my stuff might fall. So I don't, I may throw this top bunk in the other truck. So I don't really have a use for it. And I'd rather have stuff. So anyways, guys, we're gonna be doing all the moving over, so. That's going to be really boring, but I'll catch you guys here in a little bit. All right, I got to tell you guys that there won't be a video tomorrow. Um, CFI only has a load for us that's only going like 40 miles. We have to deadhead 120 miles and then... Oh, I got to get used to this, man. I got to get used to it. Oh, already cut it too hard. But I had some guy come talk to me. He's like, you're not supposed to be parked there. It's JB Hunt only. I'm like, well, man, I'm just changing out my truck here. So just give me another 20 minutes and I'll be done. Even though it did take a long time, like I figured it would, but we are done. There's no way that's hooked up. Bro, how did... All right. <laughs> oh God, I gotta be careful. I could have busted out that window right there. This floor or this ground, this dirt is so dirty, bro. We got a brand new truck and a brand new trailer. Wow, it is hooked up, okay. And we got the automatic uh, release. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, he the guy was saying that CFI isn't even supposed to like leave their like 
that trailer's not supposed to be here or any of the trucks is what he was telling me and he was like i'm the owner i'm getting sick of this so they're not supposed to be parking in this area and i was like i don't know what to tell you dude i don't make those decisions it's like i'm just getting this truck and i'm leaving and he was like well what are you doing with the blue one i was like i'm leaving it here he's like well that doesn't help me out any Bro, those are snazzy, dude. I don't. Hey, don't be spitting on me already, bro. Damn, why is it so dirty? I mean, these are fancy, but I don't know why they're so short. Oh, Ooh, come on, come on, old Betsy. There we go. Do a light check real quick. I think we're gonna go down to the Flying J and stop for the night. And I'll probably be smarter to stop at the Sanford Yard, but I don't know, man. Cause then I can get a 34 in, maybe. But delivery's Monday at 10 a.m. So yeah, I should be able to, cause we have, yeah. So I'll probably just stay at the Flying J, the whole 34. Which, oh, someone drew a smiley face on my trailer. I don't even know I'm checking the lights on this brand new trailer, dude. I did it yesterday. Anyways, we're leaving Jacksonville and headed to the Flying J. Um, we're basically headed towards Orlando. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we'll see how this new baby drives. Oh, oh wow. System check complete. That's kind of cool. We fast, boys, 67. This car was doing 60 and then I get over to pass it and now I can't even pass them. So I guess it really doesn't make a difference because people still drive stupid, but we're doing 67. So the good thing is we don't need to get this truck in the shop and have it upgraded for the speed. So, but I guess we're going to go ahead and let out of it because it ain't going to work anymore because this guy sped up. So but yeah, it's kind of nice to have a new truck. It, uh, I guess it's trying to give some space. But it's really nice to have a new truck, but it feels like it's much smaller. Like, I used to be able to put my foot up here. Like when I was driving, I can't kick my foot up. And the seat's all the way back. So I think there's less space up here in the driver portion, but we'll make it work. We got 40 miles and then we're shutting down for like 34 hours. So just trying to make some more content for this video of the new semi. Maybe when I'm off for 34 hours, maybe I'll just kind of do like an in-depth review of the truck. But I don't really know that much about it yet, so. Dude, come on. Oh, okay, my bad, man, my bad. But yeah, so we got 40 miles left and then we are done for, till Monday morning, I guess. Our exit's coming up here. Um, oh, hopefully the Flying J has a subway in it too. Uh, but this is our exit. Um, we're stopping here for probably a 34 hour reset. Um, and that's just probably what's gonna happen. New truck drives really nice. It's nice to have that again where it starts to slow down with the engine brake without having to push the brake pedal. That last truck I used to have to like start applying brake to get it to start slowing down. I don't know what fell over there. Look how nice that is, dude. Yeah, it looks like the Flying J has the subway. Or maybe the subway's like right across the street or something. Dude, it's so nice. This this is like a brand new trailer and a brand new semi, so like I'm sure it looks sick together. Except the back of this trailer is dirty. We're sitting here at this stoplight, and then... Hopefully we can get some parking at this Flying J. The only reason I'm stopping at the Flying J instead of that little yard and um, whatever 
It's because the restroom's not open at the yard all the time. And at least at the Flying J, I'll be able to use the bathroom. Even though Flying J bathrooms are disgusting. But it's better to have a bathroom than not have one. I can also get a shower here. Whereas the other place, I don't think I could. So I'll probably get a shower tomorrow. But yeah, dude. I like this new truck a lot. So it's really nice to have it. And I pretty much got it with zero miles on it. So... It's also super cool. Oh, I knew I was forgetting to do something, bro. Gosh dang it. I forgot to take the chains off my other semi and throw it on here because this track doesn't have any chains on it. Ah, oh, That blows. I think the other truck was faster though, honestly. This thing takes a little bit to get up to speed. And we're empty right now. Hopefully we can find some parking here. I think the next one is the truck entrance. Southern Tire Mart Pilot Flying J. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we can sneak around them on the end over there. I probably could make this right here, but I'm just gonna be patient. Where's the parking even at, bro? In the back, okay. Uh, we probably could make that too, but I just, we'll go after him. There's plenty of space after. This says police on it? There's no way that's a cop. Oof. Oof. Hopefully there's parking. I said there should be some, but you never know with, with that thing, dude. Try not to take reserved because I don't want to have to pay two days in a row. Ugh, golly, dude. Are these reserved? these are so these are all the free ones out here but there should be some oh well, those are reserved too well, hopefully there's some parking here I'm starting to think that there won't be because all these trucks parked along the outskirts to pay for reserve parking but I mean I guess that's what it is is that a spot there no someone in it I mean we might as well check the whole lot for empties any empty spots yeah no wonder there's parking all day all of them are freaking reserved dude it's crazy Looks like we gotta go pay for two days of reserve parking. Might as well get reserved near the building. a straight back. Dang it, dude. Are these all handicapped down here? Can't tell if those are handicapped or not. But I don't really want to do a blindside anyway, so we'll turn around. Especially in this truck I've never driven before. I mean, it's probably going to be the same, but just never know. 
I guess this isn't really doing me anything. <laughs> I would not be parked on the end like that. No way. All right, we're gonna take one of these spots over here. Then we gotta go in and pay for it, I guess. I just hope nobody hits my new truck. This other guy right here. Can't even see, dude. that guy wasn't parked there bro I really cannot see turn it up Dang it. <laughs> we'll fix it just a little bit. I don't want to be too close to this guy's truck. There we go. Yeah, riding with Jay. Yeah, riding with Jay. I just hit 2,000. Yeah. Last night. And I just got this truck today. Yeah. I'm gonna end the video real quick. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe for future content. We got ourselves a new subscriber. <laughs> We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Come on. Everything is A-OK -okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day. Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven. Come and ride with me. Yeah, let me show you how I'm living. Come on.